Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to a quick little random video. I know I haven't been recording or even streaming that much in a little bit as of late. Um, just life has gotten busy. I haven't forgotten about you. Um, but I wanted to put the, this video because I noticed that the release date for Superpower 3 was announced. Um, it's going to be releasing on October 7th, which is basically in two and a bit weeks, or three Fridays from now to be more specific. Um, that's concerning to me. Um, you're probably wondering why. Why do I think that's concerning? And it's pretty simple. We haven't seen anything. This game's coming out in three weeks. Um, and all we've seen in the dev diaries and stuff are solid images um, and descriptions, which is fine, it's cool, I can read and figure things out. But in this day and age, if you're not releasing gameplay video, even work in progress gameplay video, a la um, uh, Missile Age, for example, has released a 30 minute clip. That game is still to be dead, it's gonna come out sometime next year. And they released a 30 minute work in progress, um, rough gameplay. Um, Victoria 3, it comes out in, I think it's the end of October, um, I think it's the 23rd. They've had two full streams, three hour long streams, showing the game. Now, yes, bigger studio, makes sense. But, we don't, we haven't seen anything other than just a couple pictures. Um, the dev diaries are kind of rare and in between, like for example, uh, we got one back in June about the way the kind of the war system is going to work and the uh, the combat system and then nothing for July nothing for August and then halfway through September we get a thing saying oh by the way the game's coming out in three weeks cool um, in this modern day and age we would expect at this point to see a massive hype up right a big build up to release day we would see you know weekly uh, work in progress videos um, even if they just recorded 30 seconds you know, real time and then threw it up on YouTube or wherever there's been nothing um, right now they're also saying the game's gonna be almost $30 cool I'm I have no problem with the price at the moment my problem is we haven't seen anything um, excluding some older pictures that we got we barely even know what the UI looks like. Uh, where was the pictures of the UI? Like, we have some of these pictures where we saw back in... Was it? Yes, March. Um, about your character and stuff, and how the character affects everything. Cool. But other than that... We got little glimpses here and there of... Um, some of the scenarios and things like that. But we haven't really seen many good images of the of, of of it at all uh hold on one second eh, wish list uh, like we've seen images of the ui for example here but this really doesn't tell me anything right like i'm not a you know like we haven't really seen much and to me that's very concerning thq nordic to me has, has, has put a very bad taste in my mouth over the years with a lot of their stuff where it's in development, it's in development, it's coming out next month, here it is, bye bye They have a tendency sometimes of not letting the developer develop. <laughs> if I can put it the most polite way possible. And it's concerning to me. Especially with the lack of any in-game video. To me, it's definitely turning into a, I'm not gonna buy it until I've seen it, and I've seen other people playing it. Um, I've been burned way too many times when it comes to Power Revolution, uh, where that is just basically the same game every year, with like five things added to it, and you're expected to pay over $60 for those five things. Um, on bud fixes, anyways. Uh, and now it looks like 4th generation warfare 
they're already calling it the 2022 version or edition of fourth generation warfare to me that means there's going to be a 2023 version of it that's going to be you know 40 50 bucks probably but let's not get into that but i digress i'm concerned um i have very very big hopes for this game i'm trying to keep them in check this is a game that i bought the original superpower the original turn-based game back the late 90s early 2000s when it came out and then when i saw superpower 2 come out got that canadian company made it golem labs very very supportive of them in addition that's also when battle goat also started becoming a big thing with supreme ruler so you know the two of them in my opinion were the, the big two canadian geopolitical strategy game companies um then you know golem labs just went and did other stuff and then battle goat kept working on the geopolitical simulator stuff with uh, more supreme ruler games and you know it's good i'm happy that these guys are coming back and, and giving us superpower three what i'm worried about is this game's not here's the, my best example this right here if these are military units okay This is basically Superpower 2 with the graphics overall. If those are military units, because that's telling me that it's the same thing. And I didn't notice that till just now, which has me a little concerned even more. I'm worried it's not going to be what we all hope it's going to be. I think it's going to be basically just an upgraded version of Superpower 2 at this point until I see in-game footage, until I see in-game gameplay from the developer. Um, hell, send me a copy. I'll throw it up on YouTube. I'll play it. I'll show people. <sighs> but at this point, I'm a little worried. We'll see what happens. Um, well, you know, fingers crossed, but uh, yeah, see you guys in another video, hopefully, very <laughs> less sooner than later. Bye bye.